Graphical stretches and compressions. Other types of graphical transformations are stretches and compressions in both horizontal and vertical directions. Considering the function f of x equals x squared, the function 2 f of x will be a vertical stretch by two units. We can see this by plotting f of x into this table and graph, then plotting 2 f of x in the same way. We can see from the table that all of the outputs have been doubled from f of x to 2 f of x. The graph also follows this. In general, given a function f, the transformation a f of x is a vertical stretch if a is larger than 1, or a vertical compression if a is between 0 and 1. Considering the same f of x but now thinking of f of 2x, we will see a horizontal compression by 2. This is not as obvious, so look closely at the table for f of x and the table of f of 2x. This almost looks like a larger vertical stretch. Let's think about where the old outputs are now. 0 still happens at 0. Where is the output equal to 1? It used to be both positive and negative 1, but now it's both positive and negative 1 half. The output used to be 4 at positive and negative 2, but now it's at both positive and negative 1. The outputs for f of 2x are the same as f of x, but they are happening at half the previous input. In general, given a function g, the transformation g of bx is a horizontal compression by b if b is larger than 1, and a horizontal stretch by 1 over b if b is between 0 and 1. You can now stretch or compress a function both vertically and horizontally. Stretches and compressions can be used along with shifts and reflections. 